another ridiculous idea that was ridiculous at the time was obviously that the world is round. No, everyone knows the world's flat. The world is flat. What are you saying? The world is flat. Right? You, you say not, head off. Okay, that's a masculine way of approaching it. A feminine way, an accepting way, an explorative way, which is where we're moving now, is really? Why do you think the world is round? Oh, because of this, this. Really, let's look at the evidence. Let's look at the evidence. Let's not blindly blink ourselves. Uh, I, I mean, in the medical world, they didn't know what bacteria was, really. And when someone suggested they should wash their hands before surgery, you know, wash their hands before cutting into somebody, people were oh, outraged, washing hands, what's that got to do? It's how precise your knife is. It's how good you are at blocking those um, arteries from exploding. You know, as soon as they discovered. So all we're talking about is people who say it's mumbo jumbo, it's because you don't understand. It's because you don't understand the physics. And this is the problem with biologists, with doctors, is we're not being taught the physics it's in the physics where the information is. It's in the physics that underlines it. So, you know, uh, the, I mean, the revolution that happened when, when they put the periodic table together for chemistry, explosion. The revolution that happened when we put electricity and magnetism mathematically together, electromagnetism with radio communication exploded. You know, the explosion with, with antibiotics when they first discovered. What I'm suggesting now is the future is an integration of biology with physics, biophysics, and when mathematically they're integrated and it's understood, there'll be an explosion of biophysical communication systems that are realigning, that are treating the underlying cause, not just putting a plaster on the symptom. Another